<laughs> always uh, always do throw me out. Yes, normally these One European round. Tour events are Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but with it being Easter weekend, it's Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So yes, this is Sunday night, everybody. Well, uh, the third round tomorrow afternoon, Easter Monday afternoon, and then the quarterfinals, the semi-final, and the final Easter Monday evening. Well, I've got to say a little thank you to the hotel, the Maritime here in uh, Berlin, for the, the lovely gesture of an Easter egg outside our door when we woke up this morning. I'd just like to thank you for that. I ate that before breakfast this morning, <laughs> and a couple of other rooms wow. that had their Easter eggs going missing, I'm not admitting to anything. Yes, that was a nice touch, a little chocolate bunny, which I actually tripped over as I uh, came out of my hotel room. Luckily, I didn't uh, tread on it. But uh, I'm, st I'm saving that for, uh, for later on. One on. Well, as we said, these two very evenly matched. One on. The peak of uh, Paul Nicholson was obviously that Tour Players Championship at the Circus Tavern. Beat Phil Taylor in the semis. And one of the few people, players that have ever beaten Phil Taylor, then gone on and won the next game and he went on to beat Mervyn King in the final there and we really thought that he was going to push on and he was earmarked for a Premier League for the following year but he just didn't do it for the rest of the year now that was a 2010 that players championship win 137 but a solid for, uh, 2013 so him get to the final of the European Trophy in Sindelfingen and a Players' Championship final in Wigan. One hundred and thirty. It's a good pick off to leave double top, but Highbrex will be looking to pounce and break the throw early on, and does so to go one nil up here. A very tidy one nil up, thirteen darts. And now, as we say so many times, hold on to your throw strongly, put the pressure on your opponent. 19. Finds the treble 19 at the bottom of the board. A little bit of work to do for Paulie Nick. Yes, Highbrex, 29-year-old from Antwerp in Belgium. His brother Ronnie went out of the competition oh. yesterday afternoon. But... Uh, Kim taking his first three ranking wins in 2013 93. making it into the top 16 in the world since really emerging in the last sort of 18 months two years or so and now up there among the very best and Paul Nicholson looking to make his way back up towards the world's top 16 as well Well, I'll visit without a treble, so this is where Nicholson, you know, the ton's only going to roughly get him level, so he's got to look at two trebles on this visit. I must have, he's done that a couple of times, he's just had to check himself, thinking, you know, where's that dart coming from? Paul Nicholson, one of the, one of the players that plays with the black dart, it uh, helps out with the grip, and obviously in the board, you don't get any glares off the very strong light, so... The dark darts look smaller in the board to the right ones. And the winner of this game will play the winner of the next game in the third round tomorrow as Adrian Lewis takes on Andy Smith. Wow. Well, we, we certainly have got the hair and the tortoise in that next game. <laughs> the ultra <laughs> speed of Adrian Lewis against the real methodical throw of Andy Smith an 80 off of two losses on Thursday up there in Aberdeen and you know got a little bit of stick up there um, from the Scottish crowd just for a change <laughs> yeah <laughs> So to hold on to that throw, which you mentioned is so important, Kim Highbrex 
wanted double 12 just pulled that dart and went into the single but he knows that he'll be back for double six with Nicholson on a bogey number well we thought this was going to be a hammer and tongs game of darts but certainly at the moment no fireworks being thrown in this game and the chance here for Paul Nicholson to get the throw back not very often do you see a game go to 21 or more darts but certainly this one's going to so double 16 then to break back immediately and he can't do it well one double one every dart player hates it but Ken Hybrex enjoyed picking that off to go 2-0 up yes yeah, Paul Nicholson was saying last night they're good friends off stage these two but there would be no love lost up on the stage when these two met here this evening Well, certainly nowhere near the standard he played last night against Kirk Shepard. As you said, 6 one eighties, and, and that proves it. You know, the the overall average is pretty poor wow. from both players, to be quite honest. I know we're only in the third leg, but that first nine-dart average from Paul Nicholson, that's the worrying bit at the moment. Yes, I think that performance over Alex Roy last night was the best we'd seen Paul Nicholson on a big stage event for some some good time yeah of course I said Kirk Shepherd apologies there it was well Paul Nicholson's got to wake up because you know this ain't a world championship final where you've got best of 31 35 legs this is best of 11 it's a short dash well just 41 there from high break so a chance for Paul Nicholson to try and turn the screw that's a great way to start wow Good solid ton 40. So he has left himself on a finish. Well, we well, it is a hard shot out, but what he's got to do, he's got to set it up. He's got to get himself back into this game. He's gone with the treble, two treble 19s. That would have left him the ball and a bit worrying, you know, when he's going for them 20s, he's, he's, he's drifting a lot of them in the fives, isn't he? Bullseye for 3-0. That was a whisker away. But from 164, Paul Nicholson has not set the shot up at all. He's going to have to take this 111 out. Well, should go up with a treble 20. Was he going down? Yeah, he's going up. No, he's going down 57. 54. Double 18. Nine, two, three. Misses the double 18. So Ibrex comes back. Nine for double eight for a three nil lead. And two breaks of throw this will be for. Game shot the and at the moment, Paul Nicholson's Game making it very easy Ball indeed play. for Ibrex to get a good lead. Yes, and just uh, incredible sometimes. Now within the space of, well, less than 24 hours, Nicholson was last one night, minute, last four. night, uh, within the space of 24 hours, how different your performance up on the hockey can be. Well, there we have it. If Paul Nicholson see them now, he'd, he'd be disgusted. He's a better player than this, and we know at any minute it can start to, to go the right way, but at 74. Well, 77 now for that first nine dart average. 
that's where the problem is. His uh, Lennon Highbreck got too far in front in the front end of the leg, and it's putting him under pressure at the moment. Not doing anything with it. They've met 10 times in the past. Kim well ahead in the head-to-head. 8-2 he leads. And at the moment, looking good to make it 9-2. Unless Paul Nicholson can pull something out of the bag quickly and stop the rot in this race to six legs. Better darts from Nicholson, but Highbreck's going to get six darts from this 175. Well, he has opened the door for Nicholson, but realistically, the way Paul's playing, he needs a 140 to have two darts at the double 18 when he returns, and he's not going to do that. So, really, is a bit out of sorts, and that that drift into the five again, Mike, was a bit worrying. Certainly, Ibrex would be massively odds-on to win this match, and we know things can turn around as, as quick as anything. But uh, he'd be a brave punter to, to back Paul Nicholson from here. Seventy-eight. Oh, we require one hundred and fifty-seven. Well, he took out a one-six-one last night in his win over Alex Roy, and uh, boy, could he do with a big outshot right now. But no, it's not going to happen again. So double top for Kim Highbrex, three darts he'll have at it to go 4 nil up Can you require and I can't understand that Four last dart with Paul Nicholson he's left himself 64 instead of 60 admittedly if he hits the treble he's going to get the two darts at a double but leaving 60 guarantees the two darts at a double on the 80, I know Mervyn King always goes treble 16 on the 80. Well, he's hit the treble, so fair play to him. Double eight now to get his first leg on the board and perhaps get on a run. And to big ones, they're, they're quite a way away, weren't they? Just the range and the confidence just not there tonight that we saw from Nicholson. And high breaks moving along the Yoki, blocking air it's camera, but it did go in. Russ Bray calls it 4-0 then the lead. We only saw one whitewash. We've only seen one whitewash so far this weekend. That was in the first round match between Steve West and Max Hopp. West seeing off the German qualifier at 6-0. And uh, Paul Nicholson will be looking to avoid adding his name to that list. But at the moment, it really is all one-way traffic in the direction of the Belgian. Yes, as I said, Paul Nicholson making it very, very easy for Kim Hybrex. Nicholson has got to find something. This is, you know, in, in this sort of stage in the game, and, and all dart players go through it, you've got to call on something that's going to get your concentration going and Get rid of those One doubts in the back of your head and get on a run. You know, you, you've not lost the game yet. You must never think that. You've just got to find that rhythm. There are the checkout stats. Not any great shakes, really, from Kim Highbreaks, nice. but he's uh, doing enough at the moment with uh, Nicholson unable to pressure him at all, really. There's another drift into that five. And Nicholson does strike me as a confidence player. Wow. He is someone who uh, we have seen prone to letting his emotions show on stage. 
when I'm ready for two. Well, we were equal. Well, even Hybrex has not set the, the Darborn alight, but what he is doing is hitting a, a big score exactly when he needs it, as he's done there. Leaves double top for Nicholson to get a 94. Oh, I thought for a minute perhaps the treble 19 wasn't in, it was so far away. First 21 leaves 51, 19 for double 16 for a 5 nil lead. 56. So a chance to salvage something, a little bit of pride. Get a leg on the board, Paul. And he does so. So he does at least avoid a whitewash. Sometimes, Mike, you know, when, when you're playing someone Paul that you Hickson. know is, is finding it tough, like Paul is at the moment, it is then hard for you to concentrate. You think, well, I've only got to say, stay straight, as we call it, and I'm going to win this game. And all of a sudden, you get drawn into that battle as well. Yes, yes. You can sometimes see it where players get dragged down with an opponent who's not playing well in the same way that two guys who are playing with a lot of confidence and playing well can go up and hit back-to-back -back 180s against each other and it, pu it can push them in the other direction if somebody's playing well against them yeah Paul is, is thinking you know what's happening with that dart you could see him really step oh, back there and it really is putting him on the back foot and he shakes his head there he can't understand why it's happening and sometimes trying to work it out in the middle of the game does not work Well, that's a bit better from Paul Nicholson. Just his third ton 40 of this match. Yet to see a maximum from either player. Well, there we have it. No 180s. Not that many 140s either. And the averages, identical averages, the overall average, and it was, but... Uh, yeah, and Paul has just not been out of, to kick in, not... Needs One to push the nitro button and get the turbos going. Well, coming up after this, Adrian Lewis against Andy Smith. And I just spoke to Adrian Lewis well, earlier on before we come on air here. And he left at 3 o'clock this morning to get here. Wow! So it'll be interesting to see how AD plays. He's obviously going to feel a bit tired. Double 18 to go to within one leg of the match. Nicholson then with a chance to start the long haul back into this game. 5-1 looks very different to 4-2. Double five, and he's busted by hitting the big 12. Well, that was the, that dart was the same dart that drifts in the five, but that double 12, it, it's got to be just something to do with his grip when he plays with these, these sort of darts all the time. So it isn't the darts, it's just you know, the hand is not feeling right tonight. A bad day at the office, as we call it. And now he's trying to compensate, and you can see, you know, and we've all been there, Mike, you know, he's getting frustrated, he can't understand it, he thinks, well, I'm holding the dart like I normally do, like I was in the practice room, I think I'm throwing it, but it actually looks when it goes in the board as if someone else has thrown it. You mentioned Adrian Lewis setting off at 3 a.m. I'm assuming um, they've come by car then, have they? I know he no, he's still, was by still car. Flew. Oh, he's flown. Yeah, he still flew. I know sometimes the European events um, 
he gets driven here wow. yeah another player that's a joy to watch when he's flowing Adrian Lewis back to back world championships The problem is, you, you know, you do, you start to get mad with yourself, and of course, that makes it worse because your arms start to tighten up and your head goes all over the place. And, wow. and yes, that's uh, what I was saying earlier about Nicholson sometimes allowing his emotions and his frustrations to boil over on stage, whereas there are players who, if you were to take a photograph of them on the hockey you wouldn't know whether they're 5-1 oh, up or 5-1 down to show no emotion at all yeah I, I keep saying it to the youth and the challenge tour players don't show weakness if you hit a bad score pick your darts out and walk off curse yourself when you get back behind him because he can't see that don't give any indication and give your opponent confidence very hard I know because I know where Paul is at the moment in a very frustrating place so a ton here with set up well, that's as good as so a potential two dart finish for Hybrex to get the job done and uh, So 87 then for the match, Kim Hybrex, 70 left, bullseye, and he does it on the bullseye, a 6-1 win against an out of shorts pool 